quality title race of all time. But coming out on top again in the Premier League, Manchester City. Hello guys, how are you getting on? My name is Aaron Kelly, you're very welcome back to another episode of the Premier League Verdict here today. Uh, the final whistle has just gone at the Etihad Stadium. Chelsea's run, winning run in the Premier League is now over. Uh, Manchester City have beaten us by two goals to one in the late game here. Today at the Etihad and uh, uh, very uh, disappointing, to be perfectly honest, it's very disappointing. Obviously the defeat is very disappointing but I think... In terms of performance, yeah, we tried hard. Um, not not an awful lot came off for us. But uh, what disappoints me the most about today's results and today's game in general is the amount of just mistakes, like basic, basic mistakes that we really shouldn't be making. And we were pretty much the architects of our own downfall. Um, but there was... Definitely a lot of elements of the performance that were sloppy and just lethargic and just not as high energy and, you know, just bright and lively as we've come to expect from a Frank Lampard Chelsea team. So in this video, I'm going to dissect what I thought about the game and all the goals and all that crack. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we started off the game very uh, bright, very lively, very energetic right from the start and um, it was good to see. It was kind of typical of what we've seen from Chelsea this season. Um, high press in your face, kind of um, when we get the ball it's not um, negative, it's always positive, it's always go, go, go. We had a couple of big opportunities um, and finally we got the breakthrough in the 21st minute thanks to N'Golo Kante latching on the end of a through ball and sliding it past Ederson to give Chelsea the lead. And uh, it, it was a very, very good goal. And a, a run and a finish we can, you know, we've come to expect from N'Golo Kante. Obviously, I mentioned it in my top five video from the other day about, uh, you know, the effect that Maurizio Sarri has probably had on N'Golo Kante and his playing style. That was very much there to be seen uh, with this goal. Great run from midfield. Mendy doesn't track him and just slides it in under Ederson to um, give Chelsea the lead. And I always thought we were going to score at the Etihad today, but I, I really... I, I, I didn't expect us to not concede, um, to be perfectly honest with you. And uh, that, you know, it, it proved me right. They did prove me right. Uh, a Kevin De Bruyne goal, which they got a huge amount of luck for, let's be perfectly honest. Uh, De Bruyne cuts in on his left foot, and his shot takes maybe a nick off. Tamori and then Zuma on its way through. Either way, Kepa was wrong footed and um yeah, that was that that was the equalizer and it that all kind of stemmed from a really just poor Jorginho pass and there was a few of them today and I'll get into other people who did it as well, but um you know with what we've come to expect from Jorginho this season, the quality just wasn't there from him today, but that for that goal was really poor. Just a, a really casual pass. And I felt like we've been taking a lot of risks like that for a while. And finally today it comes back to bite us. And when you do that against a quality team like Manchester City, they're going to be clinical. They're going to be, you're going to have the quality and they're going to be able to punish you for that. And De Bruyne did. Um, yes, he got a huge amount of luck, admittedly. But um, yeah, just... Uh, not great from Jorginho and not great from Chelsea in general for that goal. We didn't recover. And uh, we then fell behind thanks to uh, Riyad Mahrez. Uh, I have to say, lovely feet from Mahrez. Lovely little in-step onto his left foot. And you know what he's going to do uh, majority of the time when he gets on the ball and he's running at you. He's going to try and cut in on his left. Um, Emerson, poor for it. And I think Emerson in general just had a very poor game today. After me singing his praises in the top five video, that'd just be fucking that'd be typical, really, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, not not great from Emerson today, and not great for the goal. Again, it was all stemming from a poor pass in the build-up. This time, it was from Mateo Kovacic, another player who has proven me wrong this season, can you know consistently, um, and not the kind of pass you would expect to see from the way from him, you know, based off the way he's been performing this season. Mares tucked inside onto his left foot and buried it into the far bottom corner past Kepa. And to be honest, we should have been 3-1 down at half time when Aguero missed a one-on-one -on -one after a shocking pass from Kepa. But it was a lively first half. And, you know, based on our energy in the first half, 
and based on you know the chances we were creating, I did definitely think that we could get back into it in the second half if we just didn't drop our performance. But we dropped our performance massively. It was like it was like a completely different team in the second half. I don't know what it was. I don't know. Did we show Man City too much respect? Uh, the passing was slow. It was backwards. It was sideways. You know, no real urgency there. Like the players like Willian and Pulisic were showing a lot more urgency to get forward in the first half. And in the second half, it just wasn't there, to be honest. And obviously, Man City had a goal late on. Uh, disallowed. Raheem Sterling was fractionally offside. And I, like, I have no problem with admitting that. There's a lot of Chelsea fans out there who will go, Oh, no, he's, he's clearly offside. And VAR is completely right. But like, I've not been the biggest fan of VAR. And I'm not going to be one of those fans who just you know, talks in Chelsea's favour for the sake of it. Um, on another day, maybe it isn't given. It's one of them, really. It's a it's a very, very tight call. And we've had plenty of decisions like that so far this season where um, if VAR was never even introduced or was never even a thing, that might not even be a question that's asked. Um, either way, though, uh, we lost the game, two goals to one. And just, I think this is a bit of a wake-up call for us and I'm not gonna go all down and depressed and negative and say, Oh, we were shit today. We we weren't we were we were poor today. We were bang average, let's be honest. But um I think this was definitely a wake up call for us. Man City are a level above us still and I know they're struggling with injuries at the minute. Obviously John Stones and Fernandinho was their centre back partnership today. Um but having said that, we didn't like I think Man City showed today, even without their, you know, Americ Laporte, whoever, I think they showed that they're champions for a reason. They're a quality team. Like they brought Ilkay Gundogan off the bench. They brought on Gabriel Jesus off the bench. Like they have these unbelievable players to bring off the bench. Like we brought on Batshuayi today, and he was he was shocking to be honest. Every time he got the ball, he lost it. He was offside three or four times, and he was only on the pitch for fucking twenty minutes or so. Um, his touch was poor. Like Tammy, Tammy didn't have his best day today. But at least when the ball was given into Tammy's feet, he was holding off Stones or Fernandinho, and you know laying it off and keeping the possession for Chelsea, showing a little bit of composure on the ball, uh, which is something that Batshuayi most certainly did not do uh, when he came on. Mason Mount didn't start the game. He came on and did all right to be fair. But like overall. Performance wasn't great. It's as bad as I've seen Jorginho and Kovacic playing a long time. It's as bad as I've seen Emerson playing a long time. Tomori and Z Zuma. Tomori was all right. He gave the ball away a couple of times very cheaply. Zuma on one occasion really did help him out. So I thought Zuma was good. I thought Aspilicueta was good. Um, Kepa, apart from that one mistake, which Aguero should have scored for, made a very good save from Mares. So not too many complaints about Kepa. He could do an awful lot about the goals either. Um, obviously wrong footer for the first one second one is just a quality finish from Mahrez you just have to tip your hat to him um, as I said Aspilicueta was good Kante I thought did well um, obviously I don't know if he's 100% fit yet but either way I thought he was lively I thought he, he put in a good shift Tammy put in a good shift just one of those days where you know you don't get the bounce of the ball or he's kind of feeding off you know scratches to be honest and uh, I thought William and Pulisic were both very lively and good in the first half, but died in the second half, and that was, uh, I don't know what that was down to, uh, Pulisic looked weak at times, William looked, you know, sometimes his control was off, and when he does lose the ball, he kind of, you know, throws the arms up in the air, and you know, you don't want to see that, um, as I said, Mount when he came on, did decent, and Batshuayi was poor, but as I said, wake up call, we're not on Man City's level, and we won't be for a while, um, as a lot of people are saying, and as you know, I rightly agree with them. They're champions still for a reason, and we just gotta accept that and move on. Um, and it's not good showing for us when we've played three top six teams so far in the league this season, and lost all three: Manchester United four 0 on the first day, Liverpool two one um in September, and Man City two one today. Um, it's still obviously a work in progress, but Chelsea fans really do some of them have to get their uh expectations in order like we are a top four club we need to finish top four and at the minute yeah we're was it i think we are seven or eight points still clear of uh wolves in fifth so we're still all right for top four we gotta just get back up on the horse now and uh 
you know, not let this defeat have too much of an effect on us. It's West Ham next at Stamford Bridge, and obviously Champions League action during the week as well. But um, we 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 got to we got to just you know keep the chins up and move on. Um, I think these results will come against the top teams, um, but we got to look at the team we have at the minute. It's still a work in progress. It's still a young team, um, but. I'm still going to call them out when they've played shit and they've played pretty shit today. I'm not going to lie. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and start a discussion with me down there. Um, I do enjoy that very much indeed. Uh, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new with notifications on. And as always, I will catch you later.